Hey guys, it's Jamie Lee here. Um, you guys have been like, what the heck happened to your YouTube channel? Where have you guys been? Uh, so I just wanted to give you an update. We um, started working cruise ships really heavily and we got less and less time off. <laughs> it was kind of the, hey, can you stay longer? And we're like, do we have to? And they're like, yeah. So um, we just got fewer and fewer days off in between and we literally rushed from the Norwegian Dawn over to the Norwegian Spirit so fast in fact that our equipment didn't even make it for a month and a half we, we only had a three month contract there and literally literally a month and a half into it we finally got our gear so we were able to do our main show otherwise we were just doing elements um, so that was pretty crazy also one of our cases got dropped in the water literally in the ocean so we were dealing with that nonsense um, and just the craziness of going over to Europe with with everything so we decided not to take the birds, just with the ESA thing with Jinx, and then um, training Tusa in his place, and all that stuff, and then just the permitting and the stickiness of it all. We were we just didn't want to go there, so we decided to borrow birds in Europe, and they were amazing, amazing birds. Probably my favorite doves I've ever worked with in my entire life. Um, so we did post dove updates, but that was pretty much it because we didn't have any parrots with us. Um, then I broke my wrist, <laughs> I think two months into that contract, mid-March. I fell off an illusion from seven feet during a live performance on the ship off the coast of Africa and um, completely shattered my left wrist. So I flew back and got surgery. I don't know if you guys can see that scar very well, but um, anyways, I flew back to the U.S. with a broken wrist and my three-year-old at the time, three-year-old daughter. and. Um, I've been really miserable because of it. I felt like I had the rug ripped out from under me and um, we had to open the show in Moab pretty much without me really in it. I was kind of like a glorified stage tech. I was running the show from backstage and moving props and setting, doing lights and cues and all that stuff, but not assisting at my full capacity. I was going to physical therapy two times a week in Grand Junction, Colorado, which was uh, about an hour and a half drive each way. So it was really intense. I was doing CrossFit three days a week, um, just because I've never really done weightlifting before and I felt like it would be really good for my wrist. So I did that and it was, but um, I'm gonna show you guys a video about my wrist and the kind of like progress report on that because I just filmed that a, a, a little while ago for, um, for Dave's page. So I'll share that on here, but uh, yeah, and then this summer we've been in Moab all summer. We got here in May. We thought that we were going to build on our property in Monticello and um, we put up our aviaries out there. And then just being out there every day, we realized we do not want to be there. And the commute to Moab got really brutal. <clears throat> so we decided we sold our property in Monticello. We um, <laughs> tore our aviaries back down. We took a trip up to Idaho, laid some concrete and put our three aviaries up there. Then um, we moved some of the birds up there because it was so excruciatingly hot here in Moab. We have to run misters 24 seven. I mean, now it's fine because we're in late September, but this summer was so incredibly hot. Um, I felt like the birds that we weren't using in the show could just go up to Idaho and enjoy their time up there. So I put them in our aviaries at my folks house on hundred acres and um, yeah, they were super happy and content. So they're still up there. We only have Tusa, Camelot Macaw, Jinx, Blue Throat Macaw, and Cressy, our Congo African Grey, plus our doves here. And Jinx wasn't actually used in the show, but when I said that I was going to take him up to Idaho, Susan Hilliard was like, no, let him stay with me. So I actually took him to Flying Colors Aviary here in Porcupine Ranch in Moab, and uh, he was there all summer, which ended up being the biggest blessing of my life because him and Tusa weren't getting along for a really long time, and uh, I had never had the time to really devote to training it and working on it because Jinx wasn't allowed to come with us on shows anymore because he's on the Endangered Species Act now and we can't get a permit. Um, so we couldn't take him with us and we were spending pretty much all of our time on cruise ships. So I didn't have the time to train it. And honestly, since I brought him back from Susan, him and Tusa have been total buds. So I'm gonna have to see where that goes. I'm hoping that when we get home in Idaho, I can keep every macaw separated so that no two get to be buddies and leave the third one out. So we're gonna see how that's gonna go with the housing and all that jazz, but that's the good news from it. So here's my update on my wrist. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty depressed this summer over that, so I did nothing. I mean, I focused on my wrist, but other than that, I felt like it just consumed my life, and so I really did nothing else. Um, and it was too hot to free fly, so I just felt like 
bummed out. <laughs> so now that it's fall, I'm getting back into it and I'm hopefully going to be updating you guys all the time and sharing our consult videos and, and just videos where we can help people. So if you have an issue with your bird, please email it in at info at birdtricks.com, attention Jamie Lee, and um, send me videos of the problems that you're having with your birds and I can hopefully make some helpful videos. This, um, I think I have 15 or 20 days before we leave Moab that I'll have to help people. So if you want to rush in on that timeline, feel free. Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking how Jamie Lee's doing since uh, her accident in March uh, on the cruise ship where she fell off an illusion and shattered her wrist. A lot of you know the whole story, a lot of you don't, but uh, we just want to take a minute and say thank you and kind of share some of the progress. Yeah. So thank you all of you that helped and supported us when we really needed it. I had very much so I want my mom syndrome during the entire <laughs> wrist injury. Um, for those of you that don't know or maybe are unaware, I fell from about seven feet on the top of an illusion. And uh, honestly, it happened so fast I didn't even realize I was falling until I was down and couldn't get back up. So I had surgery on my left wrist. Um, my mobility is not so great. I can bend it forward. So in comparison to my right, but bending it back, that's as far as I can get. And I can force it a bit. I can kind of handstand, but when I do it, because I have um, abnormal flexibility in my fingers, apparently, according to my physical therapist, I tend to put everything on my fingers. So as you can see, the flexibility of my fingers, I can pull them up. So a lot of my therapy was cheated <laughs> um, because if I tried to push against something, my fingers go back but my wrist doesn't actually go back. So my therapy was super specific because of that. I can still handstand, but I, um, I can't flatten my wrist like this one. So basically it ends up like this. Um, so it's a little funky, but I can still use it. When we first installed the show, Dave made sure that I didn't have to do too much, but one of the first questions was, hey, do you think you can open a curtain? And I was like, of course I can open a curtain. I can't open a curtain. So that was devastating. So I run with a curtain string and put it on a pulley. But anyways, we're making it work, and I just want to say thank you guys for always wondering how I'm doing, keeping up with me, and supporting me. It meant a 